As you can see in this empties video, I'm going to be talking about all the stuff that I used over the past month, including three containers of washer whiffs, a counter clean, hand soap, a body cream, laundry liquid, and 30 bars of wax. All right, as soon as I hit the go button, uh, my neighbor's dog started to bark. As you can see from the opening sort of shot of this video, I've got quite a few empties here. I predict this video is going to be somewhere between 45 and 60 minutes. We'll see, but I'm also going to give you a little bit of a life update. It's not so great. Um, Health-wise, I'm fine. Um, so in the last week of September, I was let go due to corporate restructure. And then two weeks later, my husband was let go due to corporate restructure. And I said that in one of my videos a couple weeks ago. And things have been kind of interesting trying to get um, back going financially. We are okay. Don't worry. I'm not destitute. You know, um, I am clipping coupons and such, but you know, whatever. It was Christmas and Christmas was interesting this year. If things don't turn around, Christmas is going to be really interesting next year, but I'm sure it will. I'm sure it's going to turn around. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so um, the job market is really fucked up right now. It's really fucked up. You go on to Indeed. First of all, I live in New York City, so the amount of money that we need to make as a functioning independent adults is a little higher than in other parts of the country. So, um, for example, it costs me about $50 a day to feed my family. And that's not eating out. That's not with takeout. That's not even getting Starbucks like ever. Nothing like that. $200 at the grocery store feeds my family for about four days. And that's me being frugal, okay? Um, so there's that. Taxes, cost of living, as you can imagine, where I live is very, very high. Um, and the salaries that are available are not really reflecting that at all. And it pisses me off every time I turn on the news and they're saying, you know, the economy is turning around and that's fucking bullshit. Pardon my French. Um... A lot of times you go on Indeed or LinkedIn or Monster or any of those, you know, job websites and they're like, you know, minimum requirement, associate's degree, um, even up to a bachelor's degree, $17 an hour. Really? You know what minimum wage is in New York City? $16 an hour. Uh... It turns out that I just went to school for a year and listen, I am not regretting anything. Not really. It did better me. I feel bettered by getting my um, my certification as a medical biller and coder. But I can't make the fraction of the money that I can make as a massage therapist. Did I not do enough research before I started in this whole thing? Maybe. And if I had known that my husband and I were both going to lose our job in September and October, would I have you know, signed up for an $18,000 tuition bill? Probably not. But we're going to deal with it. Because right now the plan is for me to go back to massage therapy. And that's okay. It's going to kill me to cut these babies off, but whatever. Um, and I'm sure that the education that I received over the past year is going to contribute to the work that I do as a massage therapist because it was full anatomy, physiology, pathology, neurology. It was like the whole kit and caboodle all over again. I got refreshed in a lot of things. I also got to know a lot of uh, ins and outs of the um, you know, medical insurance industry. And I don't ever plan on taking insurance for massage therapy because they pay nothing, nothing. I've always known that because I started off my career being a chiropractic assistant. You go into alternative medicines and insurances don't pay shit. And even if it's supposedly covered, that doesn't mean that the therapist or the practitioner is getting what you would normally pay. Uh, anyway, so it looks like I'm going to be going back to massage therapy. I'm probably going to have a job by the end of the week. It's okay. But nobody was hiring also in between Thanksgiving and New Year's. Like, there were no jobs. <laughs> And when they were listing jobs, they weren't even getting back to you because people listed these things and then they went on vacation. Anyway, there goes, that's that. That's five minutes of my, of, of me telling you what's going on with me. 
So let's get into the empties. Now I am going to be putting the descriptions of all the empties into the description of this video. Uh, some of these might be duplicate for you because if you're following me on any other social medias, you know that I did do a Waxmas campaign in December. In other words, instead of vlog every day at Christmas time, which is usually what they call Vlogmas, I did Waxmas, which was I did a video under a minute every single day, almost every single day. My goal was every single day, but I ended up doing like out of 31 days in December, I think I did like 27, something like that. Okay. Um, I did a, a video that was less than a minute. Sometimes I used a filter, sometimes I didn't. Sometimes I was shooting with the camera out. Sometimes I was shooting my face, whatever. And I talked about one wax that I was warming every single day because I do warm about a bar a day. Every once in a while I would, I would skip and that, hence there's 31 days in December and I only did 26 or 27. So if you're following along with that, then you might have already seen some of these reviews because that really, that's what, a, that's what an empties video is. It's your review of what you thought of the product from beginning to end, right? Okay. Again, I have all the descriptions here and if you would like to share and subscribe and hit the like button and uh, hit the little bell so that you get notified every time I do something. I've been thinking about going live. I was gonna do this live for most of you that know my my channel, I'm not uh, I'm no stranger to going live. I used to go live often, um, specifically with my friend Matt Tipple, who's no longer really selling Sensi, but whatever. Um, so I'm very um, I know how to use the stream yards. I know how to do the whole thing. I know how to bump it to Facebook, and I can be live on two or three different platforms at the same time and that kind of thing. It's just that whatever. Anyway, okay. So we're going to talk about Ocean Washer Whiffs. These are both ocean. I was really looking forward to this. Now this is from the Bring Back My Whiffs campaign, okay? And I was really looking forward to this because Ocean had been in the catalog when I first joined Scentsy and I really loved it. I still have a bar of it. It was in my club for a long time and then I took it out. I didn't really take it out. I discontinued my, well, I, you guys know what happened. I, I, I in, in a whim, in a Marie Kondo moment, I discontinued my, my club. Anyway, it's no longer in there. So I still have one bar of wax. It's just getting stronger and stronger. It's getting better and better. It's incubating in my stash. Okay. Ocean is described as aquatic. Wait, wait till you get this. You hear this description because it says nothing. Aquatic notes, water lilies and ocean breezes. It really doesn't smell like that. It doesn't smell floral to me at all. It's just, it's an aquatic fragrance without the salt because I'm not into a sea salt fragrance all so much. Anyway, I went through two of those because you could buy these in, in pairs. You couldn't buy them individually. I have two things in glacial water. No, I have Arctic Kiss. Hold on. Don't I have another glacial water? Oh, I thought I did, but whatever. Okay, glacier water. Not glacial water, glacier water. And of course I cut it and I got every little bit out of it. I liked this when I first started using it and then by the, the end I was really done with it. It started to become very perfumey um, and just not something that I wanted to rub on my entire body. Glacier water, I have to say the stuff that's like glacial ice and all that kind of stuff. Um, bergamot, aquatic lavender and driftwood. And there's a lot of lavender in here. Uh, I like to use this as uh, something to fragrance my house, but not really in the body line. It wasn't really for me. Anyway, I got through it. This is Arctic Kiss. I like this one a lot. This one needs to come back next year. This was great. Oh, oof, that was a lot. This was great in the washer whiffs. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, cool Arctic mint and fresh air embrace the warmth of fluffy vanilla clouds. There's vanilla. There's mint. Yes, I really love it. I really love it. In fact, um, I can't remember the last time I warmed the wax. So maybe I should warm the wax. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. Uh, Cloudberry Dreams. I always mix and match my laundry, like with the, the liquid with different whiffs and stuff like that. I feel like this doesn't really fragrance your laundry. This is really good to clean your laundry, though. I have a son that gets very dirty. And uh, the other one, not so much. But anyway. Uh, his clothes always come out perfectly clean. Whatever. This is Cloudberry Dreams. Cloudberry Dreams is described as sweet raspberry, rose, peach, and vanilla. This is very nice. You know, they discontinued it in the wax. They still have it available on a handful of things. I don't know. What, whatever. Cloudberry Dreams is just okay for me. I do have a, a customer who goes crazy over Cloudberry Dreams and it's in her Sensi Club and all that kind of stuff. She wants it to be in a brick. 
Anyway, Blue Grotto. She does have Blue Grotto on a brick. <laughs> this is like super duper strong. Uh, anyway, this was really nice because I mixed it with bleach. This is Counter Clean. Tropical Notes, Sweet Citrus, and Lush Botanicals. This was the scent of the month in February of 2017 with the Gnome. The original Gnome. My mother still has that warmer. Um, this is tried and true. This is a fantastic fragrance. Uh, it's super duper strong. I suggest this for my customers that are smokers because it really does counteract the, the smoky thing. Okay. I went through a hand soap and just breathe. I loved this. I love this in the body cream. I'm waiting for it to show up in the clearance section, but it's not gonna because it's it's current right now. Um, just breathe is described as eucalyptus, zesty lemon, and a medley of mints. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and let you know that I also warmed a full bar of it one day. I guess it was about two or three weeks ago. My kid and my husband were sick. They had the virus that was going around. It was not COVID. Tested them twice. Uh, my husband was just down in the dumps for about a day, but my son had a temperature for two days, but it was not COVID. So like literally people were going to urgent care and they were just like, yeah, that's virus. Just virus. Because they can't tell you everything, right? Just Breathe is great, but I also wanted to show you that we ran out of body soap for the house. And my husband went to Marshall's or TJ Maxx? TJ Maxx, I think. And I said, you know, go to that section where they have like the big things of soap that look real fancy, but they're not that expensive at all. And get some body wash before I can get to the store because we don't really use Scentsy body wash in my house. I've, I've tried in every different way to put it into different containers so that the kids weren't just squeezing the thing into the into the loofah sponge and stuff like that we're just going through it way too fast it's way too expensive it doesn't smell when you're done in the shower the scentsy body wash is not for me i've tried it a million different ways can't make it work anyway so we like to use bar soap in my house and we ran out so i said go get me something and he got this it's called be free aromatherapy relax and it's eucalyptus mint so sort of went along with this right this absolutely sucked couldn't get through it fast enough i was putting like four or five pumps into my hand and then it was just like gone like it didn't lather it was watery it smelled nice just the instant that you were doing it but it was terrible so i would not recommend this if you go to tj maxx and you see it you're gonna think oh that's like just breathe uh-uh, uh-uh. It also didn't smell anything like that. It smelled like toothpaste. Okay. French lavender. I don't know why I only have one of these because my kid bought a new pair of shoes a couple months ago and I gave him two French lavender sachets, which are like scent packs. And I said, put one in each shoe when you're done because his feet stink. He's just like his dad when he gets new shoes for the first month that he has the shoes, he takes off his shoes and his feet stink until the right pH balance happens in the shoe or the bacteria balances out or something. Anyway, this smells like nothing. For some reason, I can only find one of them. I don't know where the other one is. He might have thrown it out because my family is still very confused about the fact that I tell them to save garbage. <laughs> it's only the scentsy garbage, really. All right, I'm going to move on to um, Bring Back My Bar. Now, Bring Back My Bar is available right now. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six bars that I have so far gotten through. I've tried half of them. I have experience with like 80% of them. But in this particular campaign, I have six that I've finished. I have like maybe seven or eight that I'm in the middle of that I've only like put into my warmers once. And then I have like eight, seven or eight that I haven't touched yet. Okay. We're going to go with cherry, not cherry. We're gonna go with cranberry mango. Liked this a lot. It was reminiscent of chili mango, okay? Cranberry mango is a melange of tropical mango, cozy cranberry, and spicy pineapple. The spicy pineapple saved this one. I don't really smell anything but the um, cranberry and the pineapple. It, there's not too much mango in here, which is why it's also saved, um, because I'm not a mango fan in general. This was good. In my opinion, this is not club worthy, but I did thoroughly enjoy it. But there's a lot of scentsy fragrance that I don't need to get it all, all the time, all year long. You know what I mean? Lots of lavender. I really liked this, although it was not strong enough at all. This is just lavender and chamomile. It was herbal, wasn't sharp enough for me. 
wasn't strong enough for me. You're not gonna see it now, but I loved the fact that the wax was purple and the sticker was green. I know that that means nothing, but anyway, that one's so light. I don't know if I would, I, I don't even know if I would buy another bar. The cranberry mango, I might buy another bar before it goes. Is it cranberry mango? Yeah, cranberry mango. But the lots of lavender, I'm not gonna bother this bitch. I have been waiting this to become available for seven years. And now it finally is, and it is going into my Scentsy Club. In fact, at some point today, I'm gonna to promise myself that I need to sit down and start putting shit into my Scentsy Club because I think I missed out on a couple of things that went away December 31st. I think I was gonna put Christmas Cottage Mint in there. I totally forgot to. Uh, it's, it's okay. Listen, there's enough. There's enough stuff to go around. I'm not gonna let this go away now. <laughs> I'm probably gonna buy three bars because I don't want it to, I don't want to, I don't want to kill it for myself. It's kind of like with uh, lavender and white balsam, has that same sharpness as lavender and white balsam. Um, but this one is, listen, it's described as a sophisticated scent infused with soft rom romantic florals and ocean air. Again, kind of like the ocean. It's ocean air, but it's not salty air. I don't really like salty. Ugh, this is so perfect in a bathroom. It's just, it's, it's the bathroom fragrance for me. This is totally bathroom and this lasts three days. It lingers. It doesn't really change. It's not like Quiet Grove. It has a little bit of a Quiet Grove thing with the bergamot, lavender, but it's not, it doesn't change. It just goes from really strong down to medium, down to linger in three days. It's like crazy good. Another, I think, is going into my Scentsy Club. Now, this was not the first time that I've worn this. In fact, I think between the first Bring Back My Bar campaign this was in with me as a consultant, which was 2017, I think it was also available in 2019 or 2020, and I missed it. I, I missed out on it. Or it was in my club and I, and I lost it somehow. This is a boomer. This is Lavender Vanilla. Hillside Lavender, Vanilla Beans, Orange Zest, and Patchouli. I'm one of those bitches that loves patchouli. I know everybody in the in the groups on Facebook, they're all like, oh, she smells like dirt, smells like shit, whatever. You know what? Fuck off. I like patchouli. I like a little bit of patchouli added to just about everything unless it's bakery. Because it just adds a little bit of an exoticness, a little bit of complexity. Patchouli is a little bit fluid where it can sort of enhance what It's kind of like salt. You know how if you use the right amount of salt, it does, the food doesn't taste salty, it just enhances the flavor of the food? That's what I feel like patchouli does. I feel like lavender does the same thing. Anyway, lavender vanilla, absolutely fantastic. Bangs you in the face with the lavender, bangs you in the face with the vanilla, absolutely love it. On the opposite end of the spectrum, Lana Sara sucks. Absolutely sucks. And it sucks so bad because I wanted to love it. Because when I smelled it in the clamshell, I was like, boom, yes, it was finally one that I had never smelled before. Always heard about it, never had a chance to smell it. Honeysuckle, warm amber, and patchouli. No, there's just nothing there. Two hours into putting it into my warmers, it was gone. And even when it did first go into the warmers, it did not wow me at all. Really disappointed because I built it up for myself. You know what I mean? Frosted ginger cookie is very nice. This is the second or third time that I've warmed it, okay? Now, if you look at the older descriptions of Frosted Ginger Cookie, it contains lemon. And when you open it and you smell it, by golly, there's lemon. Like a lot of lemon. But if you look at the description on the Scentsy website, it doesn't list lemon. And I'm not sure why they took lemon out of the description, but if you look at the older descriptions... Anyway, that's why I have it here in my thing that it has lemon in it because I have a description for everything that I've ever worn. I'm crazy like that. It's easy to cut and paste. It's fine. Copy and paste. Sweet molasses, ginger, and a hint of lemon. You go on the website now and it says something like chewy, ginger cookie, blah, 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 blah. This is a ginger snap cookie. I don't think of it as being chewy. The Scentsy website is saying that it's a chewy ginger cookie. No. Ginger cookies are supposed to be snappy. They're supposed to be super crunchy. They're supposed to be dipped in milk or coffee or something like that. And that's what this is. And then that little bit of a lemon. Even if you had tea, 
sweetened with just a, maybe a little bit of sugar and some lemon in there, squeezed into your tea, and then you dip the sugar, the, the ginger cookie in there. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Now listen, that's a gourmand bakery fragrance, and it's not going to go into my Scentsy Club. But, you know, I, I can still like them. Even if they're not my favorite thing, I can still like them. And I do like frosted ginger cookie. Okay. Let's go into the Wonka. Again, the only reason why I'm so disappointed in the Wonka, well, there's two reasons that I'm disappointed in the Wonka collection. I wanted to like it and I didn't like it as much as I wanted to. That's one reason. And the second is why the fuck wasn't there a chocolate fragrance in there? Pardon my French. Do you remember chocolate cream pie? Was it chocolate cream pie? We, of course we have mocha doodle. We've had a few chocolate fragrances that worked. We've had some chocolate fragrances that didn't quite work, but then we remember chocolate mint. What was it? Hot mint chocolate, hot chocolate mint something that worked. Why? How could you put out a Willy Wonka fragrance uh, collection and not have chocolate? This is called Fizzy Lifting Drink, and this was my favorite in the bunch. Sparkling orange and fizzy grape soda are like shooting stars mixed with sweet raspberry and light as a feather vanilla. This was raspberry, and you guys know that I love raspberry and vanilla. And there is some grape soda in there, which I like because I do like grape granita, and I do like, oh my God, what's the other grape? Lethal grape. Those, they're grape soda fragrances, and I love them. And this had that, but then the raspberry and the vanilla kind of feminined it up, matured it out a little bit. Really like this. Can I still put it in my sense of club? Yeah, it's still available. I might. I'm going to put it over here. Actually, hold on. As I'm doing this, I'm going to make sure that I put... I usually do my, my, my empties videos from here out, but whatever. I'm going to put these separate so I remember to put them into my Scentsy Club. And Fizzy Lifting Drink, I might just get one more bar and that's it, okay? Everlasting Gobstopper. I didn't hate this, but I didn't love it either. Seriously reminded me of St. Joseph's Aspirin. Um, creamsicle, but also a little bit of a vitamin smell. Um... Described as orange pop, candied sugar, bright tangerine. Definitely not good enough for me to um, club it. Definitely not even good enough for me to buy another uh, another set of these. You can't buy them separately, and they're seven dollars a piece. I'm gonna talk about fuck off. I've never had so much anger towards a bar of wax in my life. Oh, it's so bad. I guess I'll tell you what the fragrance notes say, but it doesn't matter. Blueberry, white cherry, crystallized sugar. It's stomach acid. That's all I'm going to say because I am a Scentsy consultant. And I feel kind of bad because I talked that up and some of my customers like really went for it and bought like one or two sets. But hey, I mean, we all have to... Um, take that chance you know whatever 23 minutes gotta keep going wish no it's not wish it's called magic in every wish sparkling lemon twinkling lime and sweet vanilla sugar fantastic in, in the kitchen and also in the bathroom you smell the sparklingness it's lemon mixed with lime perfectly it doesn't have um orange in it so it's super citrus it's almost like pledge but without um it's pledge in a good way Lemon cleaner in a good way. Not pine salt because there's no pine in here. Just lemon and lime and sparklingness. I liked this a lot. Not going into my club because it's an extra 50 cents. Um, if I could get it, uh, maybe. Maybe. I don't have a lot of citrus in my club. Velvet Moon. This is another one that I feel kind of bad about. Um, I tried it once last year. And then I think I forgot how this made me feel and then I, I recommended it to a couple of different people this year and I'm still not I'm kind of feeling bad that I recommended it but listen we all take this chance like I said vanilla flower white musk foggy mist what the fuck does foggy mist smell like v velvet moon I wanted to like this so much this particular bar I bought last year I thought it was going to like sit and get strong no and even then it's not a strength problem. It's a, the problem, what is beeping outside? The problem with Velvet Moon is that it doesn't, it's not floral, it's not fruity, it's not bakery, it's not spa. I don't know what it is. Anyway, happiest cruise ever sailed. Liked this. 
like this fresh out of the out of the clamshell it didn't really have the lasting power that i wanted but i do like it um peruvian lime sunny apple sweet fruit sugar you smell the apple and the lime it's not really one is more than the other and then that sugar it's a little duplicatable it's not really the the sensey originating i don't even know the words that i'm trying to think of it's not special enough not special enough now the only one that i have here from the mardi gras collection that i finished is this um i'm i'm in the middle of another two i'm in the middle of street parade and i'm in the middle of midnight masquerade masquerade midnight whatever the fuck whatever uh this one bathroom perfect in the bathroom the first time i warmed it i warmed it in my living room and it was like mm, it's a little too minty it's a little too i don't know but now that it's in my bathroom i have three cubes in my bathroom to really like blast it in there fantastic because this smells like toothpaste 100% smells like toothpaste. A sprig of garden mint mixes it up with sweet peppermint and sponge sugar. It's toothpaste, but I don't mind that in the in the bathroom. Nowhere else. Though. Okay. Unfortunately, uh, no, you can buy those separately, right? You can buy these separately. So will I buy another one of these? Maybe. I kind of like just breathe a little bit better than that for the minty thing. Okay. Mint to be merry. I mixed this with something. Hold on. I mixed mint to be merry with the Sensepirations Christmas Cottage Mint, and it was fantastic. It was so good. Mint to be merry was the scent of the month in November with the Christmas tree warmer, right? But you can still get it. You just can't get it for 10% off. Mint to be merry is crushed candy cane, sparkling sugar, bright and a creamy butter cookie. I liked this. Don't get me wrong. But I wanted to boost that mint. And so I mixed it with this. And oh, I loved this. This, I don't think you can get this anymore. Hold on. Let me go. Harvest spice, winter mint, and morning air. I loved this. Oh, I wish I had put it in my club. I don't think I can. I'm going to put it over here with my others. Anyway, the Sensepirations. Um... This is a spin on Christmas Cottage, but it doesn't have the raspberry and the orange that Christmas Cottage has. So even though it says it's a spin on Christmas Cottage, I don't really, it's not really, mm. but you know what this smelled like, by the way? This, this was ribbon candy. And then with this, which is like a, a minty butter cookie, the, the combo was fantastic. Let's continue with the Sensepirations because I have them right here. Christmas Cottage wreath, I, I saved for Christmas Day. We were home alone on Christmas Day. Not alone. It was the four of us. But I didn't see the rest of my family on Christmas Day just because of geographical problems. This was very Christmassy. And this is the first year that I did not warm Christmas Cottage on Christmas Day. But that's okay. You know why? Because I, I was cooking. I was cooking from the minute I woke up and this, this got lost. Not that it's not strong enough. There's nothing against this bar. Because then I put more in on the day after, on the 26th, and I loved it so much. Uh, this one is eucalyptus, spruce, sprig, and crushed clove. The clove is not too much. The eucalyptus is great. This is nice and fresh. I loved this one. Can't get it anymore, but that's okay. It'll probably come back at some point, whatever. Out of that whole collection that was supposed to be like Christmas Cottage, the Sensepirations thing, this one I liked the least. This is Christmas Cottage Cider. It's described as mold spice, cinnamon stick, and Valencia orange. It was too cinnamony. It was too orangey. Why call it cider when it has orange? I, I don't know. I just, I didn't like it. I, I didn't like it. I sh I, it shouldn't have been called cider. It should have been called wassail. Because it, it's like an orange smell. Again, meet at the mistletoe. This is like all the Christmassy shit. Okay, meet at the mistletoe is described as serene mistletoe and subtle cherry rendezvous amid the coolness of a refreshing forest. I didn't like this one. It was light. It almost smells like a baby fart. Really, if you have this, think of a baby fart and put this up to your face. Uh, you wouldn't think so with that kind of a mistletoe and cherry and blah, blah, blah. But for some reason... It almost smelled like there was some mint in here. It does say refreshing forest, so I think that there is a little bit of mint. I don't know what mistle mistletoe is supposed to smell like, and there, I don't smell like the cherry at all. Mm, I didn't like that one at all. 
And I think this is the last one that you can get now, Cedar Cider. Cedar Cider is described as apple cider with earthy, woody scent of cedar. I warmed this a couple weeks before Christmas and it was perfect. It was a really super cold and wintry day. We, don't, we haven't had any snow yet, whatever. It's New York, we never get any snow anymore. Um, and it's leaking all over the place. Now my hands smell like cedar. Um, this really does smell like a cedar closet. If you have cedar cider and you need to like make your place smell like a log cabin, yeah, get that or warm that or whatever. Okay, everything else is discontinued, I think. Chili mango, right along with the cranberry mango. I like this. I don't like it as much as I liked it the very first time it was available about three or four years ago. Chili mango came back in a flash sale type thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. It was a weekend sale and it had chili mango and lavender and white balsam. It had a couple things that I bought white out. Anyway, um, mango, juicy peach, go a little rogue with a sassy hint of chili. Was not as strong as the first time I warmed it three or four years ago. I didn't hate it. I bought two bars of it. I'm glad that I only bought two bars. I'm going to save the other one. I'm going to let it sit for a year and see if it gets real strong. I have a feeling it will. Okay. Anyway. I warm this even though it's my last bar of this, but this is in my club, so I will be getting a bar of this. Now listen, if things don't financially change, I'm just going to keep on pushing my club. I can't afford, I can afford it. I can't rationalize spending 150 bucks on wax right now if it's stuff that I can't like review for my channel and my customers and sell. I did have a couple of orders over the past two months that were a lot of money. And I had to really think about, I'm just being really raw with you guys, okay? I had to really think about, what am I doing here? I'm buying wax when I'm not employed at the moment? But I am. I'm a Sensi consultant and I make money. And it's really easy, like every once in a while I have to remind my husband, you know, um, excuse me, I got a paycheck on the 9th of the month. I did on the ninth of the month after I was let go as a massage therapist, and then the month after that, and then the month after that, and I'm getting another check in a couple days. I'm a store director. I actually make some money. And I'm not trying to boast or anything like that, but it's like, I'm doing my job right now. You know, like my husband left to go, he's gonna do some things. And he's like, uh, so what are you gonna do today? I said, well, I've already applied for 15 jobs this morning on Indeed, right? <laughs> I said, I'm going to put on some makeup and I'm going to make a couple of videos for my Sensi channel, for, you know, for my YouTube channel. He's just like, oh, have fun. I'm like, have fun? Fuck off. You know what I mean? I, don't get me wrong. It's fun. Whatever. Anyway, goddamn. I'm like oh, off on a tangent. Apples, sandalwood, and hints of... Bleh. Apples, sandalwood, and cedar with hints of spice. I love Hemingway. I absolutely love it. It's so good for my son. My son loves Hemingway. He loves anything that's like hippie, and Hemingway is hippie. It took me a, a while to get through this. This is Holly Berry Cinnamon. I did pull this the last time I did a shot my stash because the bar was such a mess. It was so goopy, gross, disgusting. Um, it was hard to even just get bars out of here without like, you drop that shit on your shirt and then you just got to stain there forever. You know what I mean? Uh, holly berry cinnamon is cassis, clove, leaf, and juniper berry. Very Christmassy. I'm glad it's done. I don't even know why I was, I, you know, this is how long I've had this. I, I haven't been putting stickers on my bars for a really long time. So I know that I've had that for at least three or four years, at least. Okay. Another one that I liked a long time ago and it, didn't turn me on. I'm wondering if it's because it turned a little bit. Honey Pear Cider was much more spicy, cinnamony than I remember. And I guess just by the name, you would think. It's pear, sweet honey, hints of ginger root, cinnamon, and clove. Mmm, whatever. Magnolia Linen. I am so mad at myself that I didn't warm this enough to make the decision to put it into my Scentsy Club because Jesus Christ... This is fantastic. I warmed this. I, I combined it with Plum and Wet Woods. It made my day for like the three days that it lasted. Magnolia Linen was fantastic. Sunwashed Linen amid a garden of magnolia and honeysuckle. Now, when this was available in the laundry, it sucked. But in the wax, it's fantastic. Oh, my God. 
I love it. I wish I could put it in my Scentsy Club because I totally would. Mold Cider and Spice. I got to hurry up because I think my phone is running out of juice here. Uh, Juicy Blood Orange. I just spit. Sorry. Juicy Blood Orange Fruit Cider Spiced with Cinnamon. I mixed this with this. Very Christmassy colors um, because this needed this to tone it down. This is very like orangey, apple-y, you know, um, cinnamon. Very fall. It's not, I'm done with that shit. I'm, I'm ready to move on to spring, okay? Mandarin zest smelled like absolutely nothing. I said this the first time I warmed it. I think this was Easter collection two years ago. There was nothing to this. I mixed this with the orange spices, everything nice, blah, 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 from the brick collections that we had in uh, Christmas time. Anyway. Oh, on top of everything, by the way, I have a new dishwasher because in the middle of all of this poverty, my dishwasher decided to take a shit and the co-op insisted that we do something about it because the space is there and the lines would need to be like undone if we weren't going to be using it as a dishwasher and it's actually going to cost more to fix the dishwasher or have it discontinued than to just buy a new one. <laughs> Mandarin Zest sucks. I'm not even going to look at the scent notes. Huckleberry Sage again. I love this one because it had a green wax, purple sticker. At first I love this. In fact it was in my club for a couple of years and now no. Mm -mm. It's just not as good as it used to be. Ruby Cranberry, Sweet Purple Huckleberry, Silver Sage. They changed this. It's not what it used to be. I'm mad. Okay. White out. Again, this was available during a flash sale, kind of weekend sale kind of a thing, a couple months ago, a couple weeks ago. Peppermint, golden apple, winter pine. Very nice. Cleans up the air, perfect in the bathroom, kind of like, you know, one of those mint ones, like the, the crimped mint, blah, blah, blah. Mediterranean Spa was in my Scentsy Club for a couple, for a, a year or two. And now I have like one or two bars of it, and then I took it out of my Scentsy Club because it's just not special enough, but it is. I just don't need 10 bars of it. I need to warm this once every six months. Mandarin Spa, Mandarin Spa, Mediterranean Spa has no distinct description. It just says, what does it say? Relax with this smooth, fresh, breezy scent. <laughs> Sorry, whatever. One, two, three, four. A lot of bars I just warmed, okay? Um, I hope it's okay that I sort of trauma dumped on you a little bit. I'm not asking anybody to uh, change my situation. I don't really need advice. Um, the econ something ha has to happen with the economy. They need to stop funding parties outside of the United States. They need to, New York City needs to stop with the migrant bullshit. I don't like to get political in this, on this platform, but <laughs> Eric Adams, our mayor is just like, no, everyone come on. No, we've got hotels. We can just shut the hotels down and you migrants, you can just come and squat here. Oh, and by the way, New York City residents, if you want, we'll pay you to have a migrant come and live in your house. For real. If I didn't have 900 square feet. No, I wouldn't anyway. Even if I had three spare bedrooms, I wouldn't do it. Because it's not. I hope everybody has a fantastic day. If you want any of the descriptions of everything that I've talked about is down in the description box. Please share, like, subscribe, hit the bell button, uh, and just leave me a comment. If you want to give me a thumbs down, you can. Again, it's all engagement. I don't give a shit. Please leave me a comment and let me know if you've, if you've warmed any of this. If you disagree with me, if you agree with me, whatever. I'll talk to you guys later.